Right, guys, good morning, and what a morning it is. We are on Thursday, and it's very humid and very muggy out there today. Doesn't look like it, but my God, it feels it. Um, what a way to wake up this morning. Um, I just want to say, before we start, a massive thank you to everybody who has taken the time uh, to nominate me for uh, categories in the Deepings Business Awards, okay? Um, a lot of you will probably realise if you follow me on my CrisFit page that I've been banging on about it for the last God knows how many weeks. Um, and I woke up this morning uh, to find out that I've been uh, shortlisted for four awards. So I just can't get my head around that. It's mental. I mean, I've only been, uh, what, self-employed doing my personal training personal fitness um, for what a year and a half now and to be recognized by you guys out there is just honestly simply overwhelming you know I've not even won anything but I feel like being nominated uh, and shortlisted for awards is just honestly it's incredible so God knows what I'll be like if I do actually win so thank you everybody who nominated now would you like or could you please vote for me um, all you've got to do is go straight back onto the Deepings business page again uh, all the links and everything are going to be on uh, here on the link afterwards. They're also uh, on my CrisFit page and probably every other page going. If you see it on my CrisFit page, it's the top. It's going to be. It will be the top um, item on there. Could you please, uh, obviously, vote? That'd be nice. And then share it onto your page. Um, obviously, only if you want to. I'm not obviously forcing you to. Uh, the categories are. Look, I even printed it out. Look, this is this is me with who have no. IT experience at all, shocking, honestly. So, best new business, okay, that's me, I'm down there, look, just in case you didn't know who I was. Best new business, Chris Fit, and then you've got uh, fitness and well-being, again, I'm at the top of that one, Chris Fit. Uh, the other category is the COVID-19 heroes, again, Chris Fit, and the final one will be uh, the Flying Solo Award. Okay, obviously again. Now, the one that really has shocked me more than anything is the COVID-19 heroes, okay? Now, the word hero, in my eyes, uh, I'm not a hero, okay? I might be to you guys because I'm keeping you fit and stuff, but a hero to me is somebody who goes above and beyond, not just here, but I, the hero to me is somebody like who fights for our country, things like that, you know, the, the veterans and the, and, the, and the army cadets and so forth, and you know, the Marines and things. Um, but, during lockdown, my aim was to keep everybody fit and uh, fit mentally and physically through the lockdown, okay? Through home workouts and uh, basically just to keep spirits high. That has gone through the roof um, and we're still doing it now. Okay, lockdown's been eased, but you know, it's a threat that it could come back again. I am still here for you guys, 19 weeks in, and I'm still doing these workouts for you. I enjoy them, I love them. The feedback from you guys is just been, again, incredible. Um, so that new award, that COVID-19 award, you know, is, is close to my heart because uh, my aim was to get you guys just doing some fitness classes, uh, just keeping yourself active. You know, we've had some fun, we've had some slip ups along the way, um, but I've loved every single minute of it and I will continue to do so as long as you guys want these classes, okay? So all the other awards, again, it's just icing on the cake, but um, if you could vote for me, it takes what, no more than a minute or so. You just got to click on the, click on um, obviously me, be nice. Uh, put your email address in, done. Dead simple. You don't have to write anything this time. So that I'm a bit overwhelmed today, if you can tell. So that is uh, that is uh, what I woke up to this morning. So back to today. Today's class is a bodyweight hit class. Uh, it's 21 minutes long, consists of five main exercises and five core exercises. It's done over three rounds with different work and rest timings. Um, the final round is every exercise, uh, 30 seconds work and 10 seconds rest. So, thank you again everybody for yesterday for turning up to the outdoor uh, hit step class. Again, that is going to be live or is live on my CrisFit page and will be on there for forevermore. So if you guys want to try out Hit Step, again, just jump on there and you can access it 24-7 whenever you like, okay? Tomorrow, it looks like, the way the weather is at the moment, that I don't think I'll be doing a class because, again, it's going to be a little bit too warm. But I'll keep you posted. Um, I'll probably put a post on tonight, whether it's going ahead or not. But 
again, for the safety issues of me doing it in here, um, I don't think it's going to be going ahead at this moment, again, unless the weather changes, because it's looking like it's going to be hotter than it was last Friday. But um, we'll see how it goes. I mean, it's 20, uh, 21 degrees now, and it's very warm. Um, but obviously doing hit step, I can't have the doors open, whereas today I can. I mean, both doors are open, I've got windows open, so it's, there's a nice breeze. Whereas when I do hit step tomorrow, everything's got to be closed up because the music's going to be loud. So bear that in mind. Um, I don't want to cancel the class, but you know I've got to look after myself and obviously you guys as well if you decide to take on the challenge. So I'll keep you updated and I'll post uh, a link on later on to let you know whether I'm doing it or not. Okay, so back to the day. We'll do the warm up. We'll go through the exercises. 21 minutes and then we'll smash it okay sorry for rambling on for 10 minutes um, but I just wanted to get everything clear before we started okay wrist rolls first let's do this let's turn this music back up okay arms out in front chin to your chest okay arms behind squeeze those shoulder blades together chest up Good stuff. Right, from there guys, let's do some arm circles. Nice, big, wide arm circles. Let's do this. Good, then bring it back in the other way. Let's go. So from there guys, with your feet shoulder width apart, we're gonna start squatting. Ah, I'm not doing the rotations yet. So squatting first. We're gonna mix it up a bit today. So nice deep squats, keep it going. So in the next few seconds, we're going to be doing jumping squats. If you can't jump, we go to tiptoes. Are you ready? Three, two, one. So leave the floor if you can. Do some jumping squats. Let's get the blood flow up. Let's set the watch. Hang on. Keep it going. Head and chest up. Okay, we're going to go into lunges next. In three, two, one. So into your lunges. Now we haven't done a rotation yet. So what we're going to do in these lunges, we're going to do a lunge and then rotate. Okay, in three, two, one. So lunge, rotate round. Okay, deep lunge, rotate round. Okay, so when you go down to your lunge, doesn't matter which side you rotate, make the lunge deep and rotate round, okay? Let's go. So three more, one, two, last one. Lunge and rotate, good. Right, back into those jumping squats. Let's go, come on. 10 more seconds of these. Five left, four, three, two, one. Good, right, we're gonna sit in now. We're gonna pulse for 20 seconds. So, feet shoulder width apart, sit in and we're pulsing. Come on, 20 seconds, let's go. Head and chest up, you know the drill. Come on, make sure the pulse is in. You gotta be sitting deep. 10 more seconds, come on. Let's go, come on. Four, three, two, one. Oh. Man, doesn't get any easier, that doesn't. Right, down for the side lunge. Good, okay, change sides. So what I want you to do this time, okay, into your lunge position, I want you to lunge over to one side, touch the toe, lunge over to the other side, touch the toe. So, it doesn't have to be quick, but get that lunge in. Okay, lunge side to side and touch the top of your toe. So nice deep lunges, touch your toe. Three more, one, two, and three, good, right. Let's have your feet together. Curl yourself up into a ball, pull back on your shoulder blades. Good, so nice and low, nice and high, curl yourself up, pull back on the shoulders. Good stuff, keep it going. Three more, one, Two, last one, three, good. Right, let's do the hamstrings. Fingers under toes, you crouch down, you stand nice and tall. Good, right, repeat, so crouch back down again. Good, stand tall. Okay, stand up, come up nice and slowly, guys. Good, right, hip rotations, knee up. Out to the side, let's have three outwards. Bring it back in, three inwards. Get that knee high. 
Good, repeat the other side. Knee up, out to the side. Three outwards. Two. Three, bring it back in. One. Two. And three. Right, let's walk up and down on your tiptoes. Let's loosen up those calves. Okay, if you see behind me, guys, I'm going to go to heels. I've got my exercise mat out. If you've got one, get it ready. Again, you're going to need it for your core exercises. Okay, standing in one position, guys. Let's rock forward and back. Let's do it, come on. Three more. One, two, last one. Three, good stuff. Right, a few ankle rolls. Forward and back. Same the other side. Good guys, right, we are ready. So, I'm gonna go through the six main exercises. Uh, obviously there's 12 exercises in total, so six main exercises and six core. Okay, we'll go straight into it. First one's gonna be sprint ladder. So obviously your knees up and you're going absolutely flat out. Don't need to show you that exercise. That is to get your heart rate up, get you straight into the workout. Okay, second one is gonna be five jumping squats into five pulses. So, you do your jumping squats, like we did, okay, for five, then you're gonna pulse for five, and then you're gonna continue. So that is really gonna burn your legs. Now, if you can't jump again, you go squat, tiptoes, squat, tiptoes for five, and then you pulse for five. But make sure the pulses are deep. So once you pulse, straight back into your squat, and so on and so on, really feel that in those quads. Third exercise, we're up to six, six mountain climbers into six flares. So, mountain climbers, Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six. And then you switch it out, switch. So your knee comes up past your elbow. So knee comes up, twist and rotate through the hips. So knee comes up past the elbow. Okay, drop the hips. You're doing six. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Straight back into your mountain climbers again. You will start to feel that in your oblique. So that knee comes up and you drop your hips. So it always comes through. So it's like an oblique mountain climber, but a bit more advanced because you're coming through with the uh, with the hip on that one. Okay, so uh, fourth exercise, sweep lunge. Again, down to the side, nice deep lunges. Ideally, you can get a jump in. You do the jump in sweep lunges, depending on how energetic you're feeling. Okay, but make sure you get the sweep down the side. Then you've got a press-up combo. So we're working. Three lots of press ups. We're gonna go narrow first. So hands together, elbows stay close to your side. Okay, press up, narrow, then go wide. Okay, again, press up and then split. So one hand in front, one behind, split it, and then the other side, split it. And then you go back to the narrow. So you go narrow, wide, split. So one on each side, narrow, wide, split. If you can't do a full press up, do exactly the same on your knees. But really focus, guys, on getting that chest all the way to the floor, okay? Then you've got floor to sky jumps. Again, elevate that heart rate again. Uh, I should do it this way, I'll do it on the mat. So, chest all the way down. You come up, add a jump, and you're straight back down. So make sure your chest goes to the floor. Stand up, add a jump. If you can't jump, just stand up, straight back. There are your six main exercises. Straight into the core. Straight into your mat for this one. So your first one is your reverse crunch. I keep my hands down my side, bend your knees. Okay, keep your legs bent throughout. Touch the floor with your heels. Straight back up over your head. Okay, touch the floor with your heels, keep your knees bent. Okay, knees up to your chest. Obviously, repeat the reps. Then you've got to get up to tuck. So we did these one way back when, I can't remember when. So this is the one where you swing your legs, I'll do it this way, swing your legs behind your head. Okay, try not to use your hands to get off the floor, so you get up, add a tuck, straight back down again, legs behind your head, hands are up if you can, add a tuck. So remember, if you swing your legs right behind your head, use that momentum to get you up, try not to use your hands if you need to, obviously if you have to, put your hands down, stand up, add a tuck, if you can't tuck, jump straight back down. Then from there, we have Russian twists, I'll show you this way on, let's put the book around here. So Russian twists, Again, it's a slow and controlled movement. Try and have your knees bent, okay? Fingertips touch the floor one way, legs go out the other, and then you repeat the other side, you're rotating through. If you find it difficult, feet down, obviously rotate side to side. Then you've got your hip drop plank. So you're in that plank position on your elbows, 
your weight is forward. Okay, what we're doing, we're dropping our hip. One, either side, side to side. Okay, again, if you can't do that, just hold out a plank. Then from there, we're into those scissor kicks. Now, it's up to you whether you keep your head up for this or you put your head flat on the mat. It's completely up to you. But you're scissoring, hands by your side. Big scissors, look how wide my legs are going. Don't do small ones like this. We're going to go wide, bring them in. Okay, keep your head up if you want. Put your hands behind your head. Look up, because you really engage your core. Or you put your head down flat. Obviously, big scissor kicks. Final exercise is your sit-ups to reach. Now, you can use a cushion if you've got one by. If not, don't worry. Because try and put, keep your feet on the floor or tuck them under your sofa, that's what I do, to make sure my heels stay on the floor. Okay, when you sit up, your hands are gonna be out in front, not behind your head. So when you sit up, you're reaching up to the ceiling, okay? So keep your hands up where you can see them. So I put them into my eye line. So they're always, I'm always looking at them when I come to sit up, okay? Hands above my head, looking at my hands come up and you're reaching up to the ceiling. If you can, can't do that, just do a normal sit up. Okay, we've got 12 exercises. Let's get on with it. Round one, all 12. 25 work, 12 rest. I'm sweating already, so more. So follow along at home. Timer is here, so we're all gonna do it at exactly the same time. No cheating, no resting. We're all doing this together. Right, let's turn this up. Are you ready? So your first exercise, guys, is gonna be those sprint punches. So we're really gonna get this heart rate up. 25 work. 12 rest. Are we all ready? Three, two, what is it? Sprint ladder, ladder, that one. Two, one, let's go, come on. So sprint ladder, reach for the ladder, get your knees up, come on, let's get the heart rate up for 25. Come on, let's go, knees up. Let's really work now. Reach for the ladder, get your knees up. Come on, let's go, let's go, let's go. Good job, well done. Right, 12 seconds rest. Then you've got your five jumping squats. So feet shoulder width. Five jumping squats into five pulses. This is gonna hurt. So here we go. One, two, three, four, five. It's a pulsing. One, two, three, four, five. Back into jumps again. One. Do it at your own pace. Count your own reps. Oh, this hurts. Ow. Stay low, be true to yourself every single time, come on. Make sure you do the pause, the pulse, sorry. Ah, oh, God, man, that hurt. Right, six mountain climbers into six flares. So remember your mountain climbers, then you drop, and you're coming through, okay? Woo! Mountain climbers first, one, two, three, four, five, six. Drop your hip, each side, two, three. Keep your core tight. Five, six, back into mountain climb. Two, three, four, five, six. Oh, one. Come on. Uh, can't do many. It's not a race. Uh, get it in, no more. Uh, keep going. Come on. Oh, oh that was tougher than it looked. Right, from there into your sweep lunge. So, lunge, sweep, it doesn't matter which side. Jump it if you want. So, deep lunges. Good quality reps, so on that knee, as close as you can to the floor. Head and chest stay up, sweep down. I'll show you sideways on. Come on, sweep, look how deep the lunges are. Sweep, knees just off the floor, okay? Head and chest forward. Jump it if you can. Oh, well done. From there, press up combo. So, narrow, wide, Split. Come on, breathing heavy today. Woo! Uh, so narrow, elbow tucked in. Then wide, so a normal press up. Then split your hands. One in front, change sides. Then back to narrow again. Chest down first. Forward and back. And again. Oh, that's a narrow, come on. Wide. Split, oh, well done, right. Finish the main exercise off, floor to sky jump. Oh, so chest down, 
on the floor, jump up, ready, so chest down, up, jump, straight back down, chest to the floor, up, jump, oh. hands out in front for a second, so your hands leave the floor, down, up, jump, come on guys, down, let's go, keep pushing, up again, that's one, get in, oh, yes, right, now we're into the core exercises. So reverse crunch first. Oh, blow it. Woo! So knees up. Remember, keep your knees bent. So over your head, keep your knees bent. Touch the floor with your heels. Breathe out at the bottom of the movement. Slow it down, guys, come on. Focus on your core now. Keep it tight. And again, good. Slow and controlled. And again, one more. Oh, man. Right, get up to tuck. So remember, swing your legs behind your head. Use your momentum. Try to put your hands on the floor. Swing your legs behind your head. Are you ready? Here we go. And a tuck at the top. Back down, legs behind your head. Keep your hands away from the floor if you can. Use your momentum. Swing it up. Oh. And a tuck, back down. Swing your legs behind your head. Get it up now. Have to use your hands, don't mind. Put your hands down if you need to. That's one. Right, hip, drop, plank. I need a towel, where's my towel? It's over there. Hip, drop, plank. Are you ready? So into plank position. Drop your hips. Make sure you're in a straight line. Take your time. Weight forward. Good, come on. Slow and controlled with this movement. Side to side. Drop those hips. Wow, we what was next? Scissor kicks. So again, it's up to you whether you keep your head up or you put it on the floor. More big wide kicks. Oh. Let's go. So I'll put my hands underneath my bum. I keep my head down. If you can't feel this, it's too easy. Put your hands behind your head like this. Lift your head up. Really engage all your core muscles. If it's too much, put them back under your bum. Go back down. Oh. Legs wide, overlap. Come on. Oh, man, that was tough. Right, finish off with your sit up to reach. So remember guys, keep your hands where you can see them, into your eye line, above your head. So sit up, look to the ceiling, and always look at your hands. So your hands should be in your eye line, okay, looking up to the ceiling. Keep those hands up. If you've got a cushion, hold on to that. Come on. Really reach above your head when you sit up. Come on. Oh, wow, guys, that's round one done. Oh, man. 25 seconds rest. I'm dripping. It's so humid today. Oh, hello, what's going on? No, we're done. Thank you very much. Job on. All right. I think we did it. Oh, we didn't miss that Russian twist, did we? That's why. Okay, we'll do the Russian twist now because I made a boo boo. So we'll do the Russian twist with 25 seconds. You ready? Three, two, one. So Russian twist, guys. I missed that one out, sorry. Side to side, 25 seconds. Come on, finish the round off. Let's get it in. Knees bent, come on. Make sure we do all 12 exercises, come on. My mistake. Let's go. Oh. Right, that's the end of round one. Sorry, guys. Woo! So, we'll have a 15 second rest now, because it's only one exercise. So now they're doing pairs. We've got, you do a main exercise, and then with a core exercise. The working time is gonna be 25 seconds work and only eight second rest. So we're doing a main and a core. Are you guys ready? Of course you are. Right, straight, ready, straight into your sprint ladder. Three, two, one, let's go. Right, sprint ladder, again, come on. We'll do five. We've got a little less rest, so four seconds less rest now. 
but it doesn't mean you don't work as hard. Come on. Let's go. We've done all the exercises now. We know what we're doing. Come on. Let's do it. Keep working. Oh, right. It's your reverse crunch on the floor. So knees up. Remember to keep your knees bent. Heels touch the floor. Slow it down on the way down. Come on. Get the heels on the floor. Come on, guys. Slow and controlled in these core exercises. It's not a race. Once you feel it in your core, engage it. Come on. Time and attention. Last one. Right, we're into five squat jumps. Into five pulses. Let's go. So squat jumps. One, two, come on. Three, four, five. Into five pulses. One, two. Make the pulses good. Make them count. Come on. And again. One, two, three. Come on. Four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, my legs are burning. Head and chest up. Come on. And again, pulse if you're doing it. Oh, right. Get up to tuck. Try not to use your hands if you can. Swing your legs over your head. Right, get up. And a tuck. Harder than it looks without using your hands. Swing your legs over your head. Use your momentum. And a tuck. Back over your head. Go on, let me get. Tuck it. Over your head. Hands out in front if you can. Oh, oh, nothing left. So what's next? Six mountain climbers into six flares. Oh God. Does that have to be quick? Six. Flare it. So push that weight forward. Drop your hip. Four. Come on. Five. Six. Back into mountain climbers. Two. Four. Five. Six. Let's go. Man, this is tough. Oh, come on. Oh, this is really hard. Oh, right. Russian twist. Oh, man. So, knees bent, side to side. Twist your legs one way, hands go the other, and lean back. Make sure your fingertips touch the floor. Engage that core. Oh, come on. If you have to put your feet down, you can do, but don't stop. Come on. Rotate, come on. Oh, that was horrible. Right, sweep lunges. So deep lunge, sweep down the side. Let's go, so sweep. If you want to jump it, guys, you can do it. I'll show you, look. Jump your sweep lunge, but don't sacrifice your form. So you had a jump if you can do it. Nice deep lunges, I'll show you sideways on that. Jump it, jump. Deep in the lunge. If you're getting tired, walk it out. Well done, right. From there, we've got hip drop, plank. So into plank position quickly. So you've got your tiptoes in a straight line. Hip touch the floor. Again, if you can't do these, hold out a plank. But you've got to be in a straight line. Drop that hip. Come on. Good. Keep going. Nice deep breaths. Keep pushing. Oh. Oh, sorry about the noises, guys. It's so hard. Right, what's next? Press up combo. On the floor for your press ups. Narrow. Then wide. Then split. So one hand in front, one behind. Oh, I've got to go to knees. So, narrow. Wide. Get that chest down. Oh, fatigue's kicking in now. Come on. Still pushing. Still working. Oh, get up. Man, right. Scissor kicks. So, to make this harder, lift your head up. Oh. So my hands are not behind my head now. I'm looking up at my feet. I'm pushing now. Really keeping the core tight with my head up. Hands locked behind my head. 
Oh, I'm looking at you guys, go on. If it gets too much, just put your head back on the floor. Slow it down. Come on. Slower you go. Harder it is. Keep your legs out wide. Oh, man, that was tough. Right, last two. Floor to sky jumps. Right, on the floor, chest down, hands out in front, up, jump. Back down, go on. Hands out in front. Jump, and again. Oh, hands out in front. Make sure you leave the floor. Chest down, hands leave the floor, out in front. Couple of seconds. Chest down. Oh, come on. Oh, knee there. Oh, right. Sit up to reach. So, feet locked on somewhere. Oh. So, hands out in front. Reach up to the ceiling. Keep looking at your hands. Come on. Drive through your heels. Shoulders go down every rep. Use that core to get you up. Come on, hands up in front. Slow it down, come on. If you can't tuck your feet under anything, get something to hold your feet. Right, that's the end of round two. Oh, I don't know about you guys, but I'm blowing. Jeez, man, this heat, so warm. So we're into the third and final round. All exercises again, 30 seconds work, and only 10 seconds rest. This is it now. Where are we, 30 work, 10 rest. No more surprises, all 12 exercises. 30 work, 10 rest, are you ready? Sprint ladder first, in three, two, one, let's go. Right, sprint ladder, final time. Let's do it. Come on, put the effort in now, this is it. Sideways on, look, bang, bang, bang. Good guys, keep it going, come on. Nobody stop now. We're in this together. Come on, let's work. Climb that ladder. Oh, God, right. Jumping squats into five pulses. Five jumping squats, five pulses. Oh, come on, let's do this one. Two, head up, chest up. Five, five pulses. One, two. Don't rush it. Five, and again, come on. You got this, guys, come on. Three, four, five. Oh, it's burning. Five, come on. Remember, you can always go to tiptoes if it's too much. Four, five, pulse. One, two, three, ah, four. Five, and again, come on. Keep repping, you got this. The burnies are real. Ah, oh. right, six mountain climbers into flares. Take your time if you need to. I'm doing my mat. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Drop your hips. Get that knee past your elbow. For six, not a race. Let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six. And again. Tough. Come on, stick with it. Keep going. Come on. Three, four, five, six. Man, that was tough. All right, sweep lunge time. So sweep lunge. Down the side. Oh. oh, I'm not jumping it now, I'll tell you. If you guys are jumping it, fantastic, keep it going. Push yourselves, okay, do what you can do. If you start to fatigue when you jump in, then slow it down. Get that sweep down the side. God, dear, this humidity is taking it out of me. So humid, but I'm pushing through. Come on. And again, oh, right, press up combo. I'm doing these on my knees. So wide, sorry, narrow, wide split. So narrow, get a chest wide. Sorry, chest down, can't even speak. Come on, all the way down. Get it back into the middle, then wide. Split it, come on. You can do this. 
Everybody, come on. Down. And split. Come on. Oh, don't stop. Oh, mate. What are we finishing with? Floor to sky jump. Chest down, hands out in front. Oh, God. All right, chest down. Hands out in front, you jump up. Back down again, come on. Come on, we're halfway now, we've got six to go. Let's hang in there. Jump. Hands out in front. Oh, come on. Back down again. Hands out in front. Jump it, come on. Get your chest down. Up, nice and quick. Once you're up, you're straight back down. Come on. Oh, man. We're over halfway, get on the floor. Reverse crunch. Oh, jeez. Oh, knees up above your head. Touch it with your floor, with the heels. You've done these now, come on. I can't speak. Oh. Come on. Keep it going, guys. Slow it down. Really focus on the core. It's not a race. Slow and controlled. Oh, jeez. That's one. Right, what's next? Get up. So you get up. 30 seconds of get up. So we're done on these. So legs swing it behind your head. Try to use your hands to get up. And a tuck at the top. Legs behind your head. Oh, God. Big tuck. Let's go. Get them behind you. I'm not using my hands yet to get me up. My hands are in front. And a tuck. Come on. Up you get. Try not to use your hands to get you off the floor. Use your core. Right, Russian twist. Oh, God. Oh, we're nearly there. Right. Twist out. Let's go. Slow. Lean back. Bend your knees. Legs go one way. Hands go the other. You must touch the floor. Really rotate. Come on. Hands should be by your hips. When you twist. Come on. Squeeze your core. Get the rotation in. Come on. Amazing. Come on. Keep pushing. Oh, that was horrible. Right. Into those scissor kicks. So lay down. Kick out. Whether you want your head up or down, it's up to you. Hands on your bum if not. Legs wide. Oh, take your time with these. Okay, if you're not feeling it with your head down, bring your head up. Okay, look forward. You really start to engage your core because it's tight. Oh, that's too much. Oh, I can't do that. Oh, come on. Legs wide. Ah. Keep your core tight. Come on. Squeeze it. Ah. Oh, man, that's tough. Right, last one is your sit up to reach. Make sure you look at your hands, keep your heels on the floor or tuck them under something. Here we go, last exercise. Let's come up. 30 seconds of sit up to reach. Oh, this is it now. Come on, slow it down. Breathe out of the top of the movement. Come on guys, nearly there. Good, keep it going. Last one. Oh, guys, well done. Oh. Oh. Why is it so I've got any more left? I haven't got any more left. Shut up. Oh. You know what we didn't do? Hip drop plank, oh well, never mind. Oh. Missed it out, but who cares? Flipping hell, man. That was hard, so hard, I completely forgot what we were doing halfway through that. We missed out the hip drop plank at the end, but I don't know about you, but I'm balls. So, sorry about that, we did 11 in the finisher, not 12. Oh, oh God, that was so hard. It wasn't really a hit 
workout, but because it's so humid, it just takes your breath. And it makes every exercise feel so much harder. Oh, God. That was one of the toughest ones I think I've done this week. Honestly, and I'm not being a pink dress boy, I promise. That was just horrible. No breeze at all. But guys, if you're doing that now, live with me, well done, because it is really tough. Doing workouts in the heat, honestly, takes it out of you. Really does, so, well done guys. If you did it, fantastic work. Honestly, I'm not sure I understand. Oh, even Siri's getting involved, doesn't understand what's going on. That was really good. I felt that a lot in my core today. I really felt it in the top of my quads. I think it's from doing the hit step yesterday. Again, my body just aches, but it's good, because I feel alive. I've done a workout. I feel like I can tackle the day now, which is good, which is what it's all about. It's not just about being the fittest you can, okay? It's also being the healthiest you can. It's not always about smashing it, okay? Like I say, try and slow it down sometimes. It's about up here as well, about getting your mindset, about being focused, and about staying positive. Positivity, positivity, only going one way, cloud nine maybe, okay? If you start off the day negative, you do a workout and then you feel positive, positive will always push the negative away, okay? Again, fill yourself with positivity, get rid of all the negativity, and all that that's pushing you down, okay? If you've got people in your life who are pushing you down, if you've got friends in your life who are always glass half empty rather than half full, okay? Remove them from your life. Think about positive all the way. Again, doing these workouts fills you with happy hormones and it keeps you positive, okay? So, small changes in your life to change how you wanna feel and how you can keep yourself positive, okay? Get rid of all those negative clouds, Okay, and feel yourself full of positivity throughout. Well done, guys. That was epic. So hats off to everybody. Boom. Okay. And we're going to... Oh, I can't get my hat back on my head now. We're going to do a cool down. Okay, it's really important that we stretch out, especially after doing a lot of body weight um, exercises. So, excuse me while I wipe my mouth. We do a quad stretch first. It's always the quads because that is the biggest muscle in your leg and that is the one that fatigues the most and the quickest. Wow. Okay, change sides. So, I want you to take one thing away from today, and that is positivity, okay? Surround yourself with it, reschedule your brain, make that your default setting, that you turn every negative into a positive. We can all do it especially in these times. Okay, so from there, put your toes on top of your step, or on top of your step, on top of something, a chair, maybe a sofa, elevate your toes, push your weight forward. Good, chain sides. Good stuff. Okay guys, from there, let's lay on the floor, not lay on the floor, sit on the floor, put one leg out in front, tuck the other one in, stretch as far forward as you can. Let me have a drip like this. So stretch forward. Okay, switch sides. So try and touch your toes if you can. Really stretch it out. Good, well from there, let's bring your feet in together, put your hands on your ankles, on your knees, out wide. Try and dig them towards the floor. Elbows tucked into the side of your knee. We're gonna breathe out on the count of three. One, two, three, breathe out, and lean forward. Push your knees to the floor, feel that stretch. Feel it, guys. Okay, bring your knees back into the center. Let's loosen it off for a second. And then we're gonna go back into that position again. Okay, on the count of three, we're gonna breathe out and lean forward. One, two, three, lean out. I'm sorry, lean forward, breathe out.
three, two, one, good. Fantastic stuff, guys. Right, let's stand up nice and slowly. Now this time we're gonna do the lunges. So knee on the floor, we're gonna rock for 10. On the 10th one, we're gonna put our hands on the floor and really stretch out forward. Okay, so let's rock forward and back for 10. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Lean forward, touch the floor. Okay, good. <clears throat> let's switch sides. So let's rock forward and back for 10. Two, three, four, five, keep going. Six, seven, eight, nine, 10. Lean forward, touch the floor. Good stuff, excellent. Right, stand up again, nice and slowly, guys. Let's do a tricep. So, hand down the middle of your spine, push down the top of the elbow. Good, let's change sides. Good. From there, lock your hands out above your head. Lean your body back over to one side. Good, let's switch sides. Okay, from there, keep your hands locked out. Let's put your hands in the middle of your chest, out in front. Okay, arms behind, squeeze the shoulder blades together, chest up. Good, let's have your arm across your chest, let's pull it in nice and tight. Okay, switch sides. Fantastic work guys, you are all done for today. That was really, but for me, that was a really tough uh, body weight hit. Hope you found it just as tough guys. Remember, okay, to um, go onto the Chris Fit page and on this page as well, you'll see the link to the Deepins Business Awards. I really would appreciate it if you can uh, find the time just to place your vote in the box um, and I'll love you forever, honestly. Um, no, um, yeah, so that'd be great if you could. Um, Hopefully I'll be back on here tomorrow at 10 o'clock, but I will put a post on later on, um, obviously, depending on what the forecast is going to be for tomorrow. But um, if it's looking like it's going to be as hot as it was last week, then unfortunately I might have to cancel tomorrow's class. But don't let that stop you. If you still want to do a workout, probably wouldn't advise it, um, contact me and I will send you a link to an old hit step. So you've got it over the weekend when it's a bit cooler, or you can do it actually on the Friday. But I haven't, again, made my final decision, but because you guys have paid up for the week and you want a hit step, okay, contact me and I will send you a hit step workout that you can do either on tomorrow or Saturday or Sunday. But that obviously will be explained later on today. Have a good day, guys. Enjoy this humid, sticky weather. Um, and I love you all forever. Thank you so much for your loyal support. Um, and I will see you hopefully, fingers crossed, tomorrow morning. Cheers, guys. Bye-bye.